guys. Today I wanted to talk about my experience at the Overland Expo Mountain West in Loveland, Colorado. It was just a couple of weeks ago and I had first heard about the Expo through a couple of YouTube videos. I looked up when and where the nearest Expo was and it was fairly close and not too expensive at all. I paid $150 for the weekend pass which allowed me to access the Expo and most classes Friday through Sunday and provided me with a camping spot for Thursday night through Saturday night. So I wanted to talk about a few things that I loved about the Expo and a few things that weren't too great about the Expo. First, the good. The people. I would say that the number one reason you should come to the Overland Expo is to meet like-minded people. I met so many great people during the Expo. Some of them were camped next to me, others I met in some of the classes, and others were teaching or presenting in classes. I also met some great exhibitors around the exhibit area. Just talking with everyone and learning from others was worth the $150. I was able to check out a bunch of other off-road setups from other people in the camp area. We exchanged numbers and many people gave me some great ideas for my own camper. In some of the classes I went to, the presenters shared their experiences traveling through different parts of the world, which was definitely interesting to me. Other classes talked about airing down and up your tires, which came in handy this weekend down in White Pocket, Arizona. And that video it will be coming out later this week or next week. Um, one of my favorite classes was the dog first aid class. The vet, the veterinarian who was presenting shared some great first aid tips for treating dogs in the backcountry. So people in classes really made the $150 uh, entrance fee worth it. The second great thing, the expo was very dog friendly. Our golden retriever Ava was able to go everywhere with me. It was great. I never had to worry about leaving her somewhere while I ran into a building to grab something. Um, so this is definitely a dog friendly event. There are a couple of suggestions I would have had for the event directors, but they did so much to make it a good experience for dog owners. I wish there had been a place that we could let our dogs off leash to run and play around with the other dogs. I suggested to one of the dog brands, like the dog product brands, in attendance that they could sponsor a dog off leash area. I'm pretty certain that uh, many of the dog owners would have frequented that dog off leash area. So the dog centered brands could set up next to the off leash area and get lots of dog owners walking by. The last thing I will mention about how good the expo was is just being able to see some really cool products. There are some incredible pieces of engineering around the expo. I saw a $1.7 million earth roamer, a $400,000 Toyota Tacoma camper conversion, and then some really cool smaller products. One of my favorite was a little propane fireplace built out of ammo cans. Uh, I would see some of the products and I would think, you know, that's really cool, but I bet I could build it myself, which is exactly what I did with the ammo can fireplace. I went home and built an ammo can fireplace in just a couple of days. I see myself as a budget overlander, camper, off-roader. So seeing some of the fancy and expensive products can be a little overwhelming, but those products gave me some great ideas and there are a lot of things that I feel I could make myself at home. So even if everything there seems really out of budget, it can still spark some great DIY projects. On that note, one honorable mention for things I liked at the expo goes to the DIY area. They had a select group of people set up their rigs to share with everyone. There were some really cool ambulance conversions, some nice DIY camper builds, and a couple of old retro, retro campers. That area was really cool because it made everything seem very doable. Okay, now for a couple of things that weren't too great about the expo. First was camping. When I looked on Reddit to see what people were saying about these overland expos, the number one comment I was seeing was that it was not worth camping at the expo. While I don't 100% agree, I definitely wish I had known what camping was actually going to look like. Basically, we were all crammed in like sardines in 20 by 20 foot squares. 20 by 20 really isn't a lot of space, especially if you're setting out an awning. It is also slightly a weird shape for vehicles and camper trailers. I think 20 by 30 would have been 
ideal, but even a 15 by 30 would have done the trick. That would have allowed for a trailer, an awning, and a vehicle. You might be able to tell in the video, um, but I kind of crammed my stuff all into my square. Um, but I also had one of the smaller setups out there. So camping was really great because I got to meet a few great people, but also terrible because you're crammed into a dirt field with 1,000 other campers. Another thing that disappointed me a little bit was the food options. I made the mistake of not coming prepared with my own meals. I had assumed that there would be a bunch of food trucks to eat at, and there were a few. I remember a taco truck and a hot dog stand and some fair food vendor, um, and maybe like a coffee truck and a couple other. Um, but I ended up driving to Target to grab some food to cook. Uh, next time I will definitely come better prepared. The last thing I will mention is that it was very, very hot. I know that this is not something that the organizers can control, but I think maybe organizing some of the classes to be indoors or at least under a bigger tent would definitely help. A couple of the classes I went to were um, in the exhibit area, just right in direct sunlight in the middle of the day, and maybe having those under a large tent or even indoors uh, or even just later or earlier in the day would have made a huge difference. So to wrap this all up, I would definitely recommend checking out the Overland Expo. I hope to be able to go to another one, maybe next time the Overland Expo West out in Flagstaff, Arizona. Um, now knowing some of the potential downsides before going really will kind of set the expectations and I think really if anyone is interested in overlanding or off-roading or even just camping in general, I think you'd have a great time. Um, thanks for watching our video today, guys. Be sure to check out our next video coming out later this week. Um, if you haven't already, we'd love to have you join our adventures by subscribing to our channel. Thanks so much for all of your support. We'll talk to you soon.